everybody, it's Josh from the Dad Challenge Podcast. Thanks for joining me today. Before we get started, I want to talk to you about Scentbird. Got my brand new scents in this month and I am excited, okay? Because this is, I found, I know every month I say I found my brand new favorite scent. This one is so bomb diggity fresh, I got to tell you about it, okay? So it comes in these beautiful capsules. They're awesome because they have these locking mechanisms inside there. And they come in these really cool packages and these got these locking mechanisms. When you travel, you just unlock it like this and then you can spray. So that's also the sprayer. Isn't that brilliant? Like these guys, they just know their onions, you know? Well, you can see because the sticker tells you here, lock and lock, cut, lock and unlock. And so these are really, really nice. This month's scents are my favorite. And while I talk to you about it, I'm gonna show you how I roll and how I put my scents on. Here's what I do. When you get your scents in the mail, they come with these cards that tell you all about them, okay? And what I do is I spray the card. Cause I like to have them like, which one is this one? I smell it and you let it sit for a bit and it just let it, you know, let's sit for like an hour before you choose which one you're gonna use that night. This one is amazing. It's called Dolce & Gabbana Intenso and it's got lavender, hay, basil, sandalwood, and labdanum, whatever that is. It smells really, really good, okay? So of the three I got, that's my number three. Still really good. Second one is Vertu by Vince Camuto and it is really good. It's got crushed peppercorn, Tuscan leather, and Haitian vetiver. It's really, really nice. It's masculine, um, just like a Saturday, kind of hanging out, going to the mall, that's what you'd wear. That's and then my all-time favorite, what I've gotten so far from Scentford, is this Joseph Abowd Ember. I can't even explain to you what this does for me. I don't know if it hits nostalgia notes in my body. I don't know. But I smell this and I feel warmth and happiness. If that, like, someone walked by, but like, that guy's probably really nice. Like, he's probably cool. You know, he hangs out with his kids and he's just, he's really involved. He just, he's good. He volunteers at the scouts, that type of guy. It's really nice. I can't get over it. It's got apple, fresh citrus incense, smoked sandalwood, and dark leather. May I suggest, if you're gonna order this for your for your husband, your boyfriend, your son, whatever, this is the one I suggest you get. Yeah, this is quickly becoming my favorite scent, and I just got it today. Tried it on, walked around Home Depot, people were like, whoa, you smell good. I'm like, right? This is really good, okay? So make sure if you're gonna order, let me, may I suggest you order this one. What I do when I get ready to go out, it's really important you do this, okay? Everybody, and tell your husbands or your boyfriends. So when you, especially when you're done shaving, you're all fresh, you put a little Vaseline hand cream or just Vaseline itself, just on your skin, on your wrist, on your neck. And then what I do under, if I'm wearing an undershirt or even if I'm not wearing an undershirt, okay? I will spray a couple of sprays underneath my shirt. I won't spray it on my shirt, I'll spray it underneath. Because I let that hit my skin. Because as you know, your pH will affect how the way a scent works. And this scent works for me. Okay, I cannot say enough good things about Semper. They've been sending me colognes for months. I have literally dozens of these things, okay? And I use all of them. And any ones I don't use, I give them to my sons and they really like them. So it's really, it's a nice gift too. It's a stocking stuffer. Christmas is coming, birthdays, Father's Day, all that stuff, really good for, and for yourself. It's not just for dudes. They have amazing smelling women's cologne. My wife was like, did I get some this month? And I'm like, no. So I'll ask next month to get my wife some new scents. She loves them as well. And because Scentbird teamed up with me, that means you get a sweet deal, and it is a sweet deal. Here's what you gotta do, okay? You scan this QR code that's right over here, or you can click the link that's in my description or my pinned comment. Use code DAD55OFF to get 55% off your first order. Like, you can't beat it, go do it. I promise you, anybody in your life, men, women, friends, whatever, they will love this gift. Remember, scan the QR code, use dad55 off to get your deal today. Thank you so much, Senford, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Dad, how are you? Happy Friday, hope you're doing okay. It is the day before the weekend. Everybody's favorite day, Friday. Margarita Fridays, or whatever you call it. It's fun. I think that you're awesome, and I think, and I'm super happy you're here. So I wanted to keep it simple today. Went back in the old Doherty Dozen vault, found an old video we can snark on just for fun. Because that's how we roll around here. But it is Friday, and we uh, spin the old wheel on Friday. It's one of the most important things we do here. If you're a member of the channel or my Patreon member, and you're above the first tier, every Friday I spin the wheel and you get a chance to win a prize. And it's a great prize, by the way. I got extra stickers now. I'm sending candy again because now I can ship it to, to my girl in Buffalo because she's awesome. And uh, the chocolate won't melt. So I'm going to send her a big old box of stuff that she can ship out as well. So you're going to want to win this prize. Okay, and so what we usually do is we spin the wheel and we do a little dancey dance and someone wins. Yeah, baby. Water. Drink water. Drink your water, water. Oh. 
Aliza Epstein. Hopefully no relation, you know what I mean? Epstein? Reach out to me with your shirt size and your address, and I will hook you up. Josh at the thedadjoshpodcast.com. Let's go. Just wasn't in the mood to dance too much today, you know? Anyway, so I dug back in the old vault. I like going in the old vault and looking at Lish's old videos to who she was and who she is today. <laughs> and I just was like, there's just nothing to talk. There's not really anything going on, which is kind of a good thing, you know, except for the craziness that's going on over the Middle East. Now, and I don't want to talk about it on this channel. Like, that's just not the place for it. It's just crazy what's going on. But um, I think we just, um, sometimes we just need some lighthearted stuff. The garbage of the world overshadows everything. So maybe we should just sit down and laugh a little bit. So that's what we're going to do here today. We're just going to laugh at Alicia because that's what we do. We make fun of Alicia, and it's fun, and you know it is. So this is called Get Ready With Me. My mom of 10, get ready with me at 4.30 a.m. Like, 4.30? You're crazy. Remember she used to say this all the time, and then she the clock went missing, and then now everybody's like, oh, you're waking up at a normal time. That's odd. She, she never got up that early, okay? She just was lying to you. Good morning, it's Alicia Gagarty. <laughs> you know okay like is there somebody trying to sleep at fourth it's like if someone was up in my house at 4 30 a.m with a camera vlogging i would be like go back to bed i'd freak you guys have been wanting my morning routine have they have they who who creepy auntie lauren there in the with the face in australia her that one with the weirdo face that one Nobody wants this, Alicia. Before the kids wake up, but here you go. It's 4 30. Holy. White Claw. Never. You know what I mean? Never again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's my alarm clock. Where? And the sun not came out yet. The sun has not come out yet. That's not your alarm clock. You tell me she gets. Why is there a spacey? Do you have heat in your house? Ready with me at 4 30 a.m. in the morning. You don't have to stay in the morning if you stay in. Yo, ask me for the video where I do things like my ugly makeup. Get ready with me, yeah. Get ready with me, yeah. Get ready with me. Yeah, stupidest videos on the internet. Yeah. Get ready with me! Okay, just took a shower. Did you wash your face, or? You missed a spark. <laughs> I'm skinny right now, I'm giddy. Oh, I'm, I'm overtired, I think that's what it is. Okay, why do you put your... Uh, that's weird. Why do you take your makeup off after your shower? Why do you do that in the shower? Well, uh, why is your makeup still on? What does your pillow look like? What? K. Avril Lavigne's great aunt Mild Mildred. It's not coming off. That didn't, that didn't do anything, man. I think she put she put her makeup on with a Sharpie. That did not do anything. She rubbed some stuff on it, and it's the same. Maybe, did she get it tattooed? Because I know I've heard people do that. They get like permanent makeup tattooed to their face. My alarm clock's standing next to me still. Yeah. She looks like she should be in a horror movie, but she's the clown, right? She's like the clown's friend. Like, what are you doing here? I have nowhere to go. I just wanted to hang out. Like, I'm trying to kill people in the sewer. You know, I'll come, I'll come along. I'll come with. Your cute alarm clock. Okay, what are you doing? It's not working. <laughs> who's watching? Who's literally like, oh my god. This, and this view has like thousands of views. Like, I don't know how many, but thousands. This is crazy that people watch this. Oh, she's got contacts. 
I just, I don't like when people touch their eyes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, 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 it's a gift, you know, I, I, it's my cross to bear. <laughs> She's got like, so, so like she got punched in the face with a bat. Her lips are puffy. Why don't women do their like makeup routines and stuff? There's like a like a literal moving box full of things that you put on your face. A moving box. Like she's rummaging through this thing's like an old toy box. What's in there in the tickle trunk? What are you putting? Look at this face, okay? No skin products touch this face. Look at this thing. Yeah, I got some forehead wrinkles, but that's from laughing. Right? I got some laugh lines. <laughs> But look at this. This is sometimes soap. Look. What are you doing? It just doesn't. It's <laughs> no. Here's your skincare routine, Alicia. Water. I have story time. I have to get a root canal, I think. All my life, I grew up, and I was so proud of myself. I rarely, actually never, never once when I was a child, ever got a cavity, ever. I just have genetically, I don't know what it is, genetically decent, I don't know, okay? Never got a cavity. As soon as I hit, like, late 30s, cavities! Blah, 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 cavities! And I actually haven't had benefits in a long time, so I haven't been to a dentist in over a year because it's so expensive, okay? Bad idea. One of my teeth right here, this one here, half of it just fell off one day. Just gone. Bye. See you later. And I was like, what the heck? It's like that dream. You ever dream when you like lose your teeth? That was the, I was like, that's, it's, it was weird. And we went to a dentist. They didn't seem too concerned. Oh yeah, this happens all the time. You need a root canal. I'm like, well, okay. Well, how much is that? Let me tell you. Let me tell you how much it is. So if I want to get the tooth removed with the root canal, whatever, they pull it out. I don't know what they do. The canal root it. Okay. And then I'm going to get a cap. It's going to cost like $4,000 to fix my tooth because we don't have any benefits yet because my wife just started as a nurse and her benefits don't kick in for, I don't know, another month or something. I'm I'm thinking about waiting, holding out for the benefits. It's crazy. I'm. It's cheaper. I swear to God, it's cheaper for me to fly to Tijuana to get my tooth fixed there. I'm not, I'm looking into it. That's what I'm saying. It's cheaper. And those dentists are just as good. Okay. So I'm thinking about it. Anybody have any great ideas? It it doesn't hurt yet. Okay? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't like it doesn't like it's not painful. But I can feel it starting to like if I drink cold water or something like that or ice cream or if I have like some of the sugar in it. No, it hurts a little bit. So I'm trying to figure this out. Is this what it's like for the medical system in the US? Like when you get hurt, you this is the this is the conversation you have with yourself. You're like, "Can I even afford to do this?" Cuz that's if so, I feel so bad for you. I really do. I know our, our medical system isn't the best. Obviously, you got to wait sometimes for period, for long periods of time. But, you know, if you're triaged because you're it's dangerous, you get triaged pretty close and you're, you're in, right? So, but, and also I don't walk out with the bill, which is crazy. So, like, if this is how you guys roll, like, I feel sorry for you. Story time over. So she does know how to speed things up. She sped that up. This is gross, man. You're gross. Okay. Let's go downstairs. She doesn't use like scope. She uses like white cloth. <laughs> yeah. Of course, miracles up with me. Even her water is loud. Oh my God, you don't, you fast forward, you're brushing your teeth, but you keep this on the entire time? Really? She had those puppy pads by the door because pee. That's why. Because pee. Dog's like, what's this BS? 
This is crap. She's, here's my, I'm showing you the clock. It's 447. I'm going to start baking at 447. Like, are people getting up in two and a half hours from now? This is going to be okay. Like, what are you making? A roast? Listen to the dog. That's every dog. And he gusts in the middle of the night because he's thirsty, goes to the toilet. And if he's like really hairy because he gets hairy in the winter because we don't cut him, it like gets all it eats everywhere, man. Here's the meds. Let's bring out the meds. Bon aped it. Harley going on her My Little Pony episode. So Harley's up at 4.30 watching cartoons. Why don't you put Harley back to bed? Harley should be like, there's three more hours of sleep. Can you get my hair and makeup real quick? Real quick? <laughs> we'll see. Your eyeliner's already done. Again, with the bucket of stuff. The literal bucket. Of course, the girls always get into my makeup, so I can't find anything. <laughs> Put it away, then. Put it away. Need it. It's too much. It's too deep. And it's already on there, okay? You put too much on, thumbs. Way too much. Chubby thumb. Chub thumb. I'm going to call her chub thumb from now on. I get knocked down. I get back up again. Yeah, you ain't never going to chub a thump thump. Is that how it goes? Huh. Wow, this is, this is interesting. The sounds are interesting. Oh, she's really shaky. She's shaky on that one. It's too much, Alicia. You're putting too much on. What do you think that? Why do you look at yourself after you've done that and you're like, cool, what's up? What's going on? I feel like all day long that would bother me. It's not even applied good. You look like you, it's bad. You look like an emo in seventh grade. Just tried it out for the first time. XX RAR. Oh my God, you're bad at this. Holy Sam's. You okay, buddy? Sam. Did you hear that? <laughs> Sam. Sam. I don't think Sam can hear very well anymore. I think he's looking for somebody. Got the Sam shirt on, and there's the Sammy Sam. Oh, he's my buddy. He likes the scratchy beard. Do it all day. I could do this all day. My buddy. He's my buddy. <laughs> He's getting a little old. What's next? Let's do this one here. I feel like you should have done that one first. What is it that you're doing with that? That's just too much. Looks like you're putting flour on your eyes. That's too much, man. I think, I think. That's all you're doing there with that one? Okay. okay. Is this not weird? I mean, she just has a camera while she's doing this and just, and then posts it. It's just, that's just so weird. The world that we live in right now. Mm, okay. Sparkly one, you put the sparkly over top of it. It doesn't do anything, it's not changing anything. What is it? Someone ask Alyssa if you know, you know. Okay, I see some sparkles now. Wait. What are you, it's, doesn't, it's not changing anything. 
It's literally not doing anything. She's pretending. Oh, eyelid flesh is just, just gives me shivers. And it's, it's not hers. Everybody's eyelid flesh. It's so like ball sacky. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's think. I just think. I just realized something. Do this. With your it, well, hers looks like it anyway. <laughs> like, why do you have so much? Here's the question. Like, you're you're reaching into this box of stuff, and I'm hearing you jingle around. <laughs> like, are you using all that stuff? Right? Why do you have so much? That's, stop putting stuff on your eyes. Stop it. It's not changing anything. You just keep layering it with vani vanilla, <laughs> invisible stuff. Okay, now she's getting real sparkly. You're going to a rave? Or going to an Ace of Base concert afterwards? Or whatever? I saw the saying, open the mask, I saw the saying. All right. It's wor you made it look worse, Alicia. How is it possible you made it look worse? Your eyes. You put 16 layers of makeup and now it looks like you, you aged your eyes 40 years. <laughs> okay. What's that supposed to be? Is that a glue stick? Putting glue stick under your eyes. Okay, well, whatever you're trying to do, it didn't do anything. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. All right, here we go. Now we're going with the con concealer. It's like a. This is the conceals the. <laughs> okay. Is this just the zit cover? Cover? You just leave it like that and walk around. I dare you. Just walk around like that. People will be like, hey, cool. You look like you belong in an Indiana Jones film. Okay. Get the dry brush. Brush on the clown makeup. Got it. I hope you blend it better than that. What in the fresh heck is this for? I normally use a blending sponge right here, but... But the kids stole it and ate it. The kids steal them all. Why? Where, why, why? Why can't you just put them somewhere where they can't get them? Mm hmm. You literally look like Krusty the Clown right now. So. Uh, blend it better. You look like a cadaver. Blend it better. You look like a dead person right now. What are you doing? You looked better before. What are you doing, Alicia? Oh, there's more. There's just bring more on. Okay, okay, okay. No rhyme or reason. Just randomly look like a Minecraft house is <laughs> building. <laughs> What in the f- <laughs> She's just not using the right tools, right? People are like, she's just using the wrong tools, right? Your coffee's ready. Oven. Oh. Why are you doing this to yourself? Pumpkin chocolate chip bread. Oh, here we go. 16 okay. loaves of bread for three people. With watermelon. Watermelon for breakfast. You missed, you, missed, you, know, you, missed, you missed an entire face. No, no, no. Not the look. The kids haven't been eating a ton for breakfast lately, so... It's because your kids don't eat anything for breakfast, because when they get there, it's freezing. Because you made it three hours before they woke up. And you're like, hot breakfast, later maybe! On the Reddit, someone posted a picture of the toast, and the, like, the toast is so cold, it doesn't even melt the butter. Like, get wrecked, Alicia, get your kids to make their own breakfast. I'm not making, like, huge breakfast. She says that, and then she makes six loaves of bread. My allergies are judging me. Yeah, allergies. Well, maybe you're allergic to the makeup you're putting on your face. What are you doing? Which one are you using? The orange one? What in the... F she is the puppet from Mr. Rogers, turned into a person. Why are you doing it like this, creepy? Stop being so creepy! What in the hell? Why did she do that? Well, mission accomplished if you were looking to look like a creepy weirdo. What? In the, okay. 
Is that a is that a D shine of fire? D shine of fire? Like, is, is the thing about putting a whole face of makeup on is this, your neck doesn't match. Match with your neck, or put some on your neck or something. Okay, well, I don't know what you're doing. It's not working. Oh, there, she put some on her neck there. Mary Kay. What now? What's this? Okay. This is like the sixth layer of stuff that she's put on her face. Yeah, I don't know what this one does. I think it might turn it more yellow. It's a yellow fire. So you look yellow. Do you have one that will make it not look like a dead person? I left my mirror upstairs, so I'm just going by my screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Hopefully this looks okay. It's not okay. Okay, maybe you should have used your mirror. No idea. You got it. Oh, okay. She puts, she turns them red. She puts red on those things. Oh no, that's brown. I think she's darkening them. You can smell this video right now. It smells like coffee and white claw. And look at that thumb. That thumb could, could hike a mountain by itself. That thumb is the, it's the, it's the club, it's the clubbiest club thumb I've ever seen. Yo, Abby from Matt and Abby has a club thumb too. What's going on? It's these vloggers, man. They're cursed with ugly thumbs. Look at that thing, though. It looks like it was hit with a sledgehammer. And then revived. And then cast into Mordor. But it survived that, too, somehow. I don't know. It's evil. It just is indestructible. But it's on its quest for vengeance, right? <laughs> it's coming for me. I'm going to dream about it. Okay, this is weird. See what she did to the upper eye skin? It looks bad. Looks like the diaper rash on your face. Okay. Whatever. This is the brush. The eyelash brush. Eyebrow brush. Okay. Excellent work. You made your face look like you have stop signs on your eyes. That's good. That was too much. What she did there was too much. Oh, here we go. Eyelash extension cream. Eyeliner. No, it's eyelash scara. Lash scara. I know how to do my... Oh, it's in her eyes. She's got one in her eyeball. There's one in your eyeball. Get that one out of your eyeball. It's in your eyeball. Am I the only one seeing this? Does that not bother you? What? It's in her eyeball. Tyson, zoom in on that. It's in her eyeball, folks. How does she not feel that? It's in there. Is it on her contact? Get rid of the black dot. She's got a, she's got Lascara on her freaking eye, her literal eyeball. It's still there. It's still there. You don't see that? Lashectomy. Uh, this is the same stuff. Okay. Oh, so I see. She's pushing it onto the brush instead of using the brush to push it on. That's cool, I guess. Okay, get the black dot. Did she get the black? Hey, it's gone. Thank God. That would have. Oh, I couldn't have lived. L. I'm gonna look like an elf. Sounds like someone's farting and it's like bubbly farts. Okay. Hairspray. What is that? You didn't show it. Okay. Wait, what is it? Was it leave in conditioner? 
Oh, she's it's straight in her cream. It is really rainy here, so I am not gonna bother curling my hair. It would just uncurl the minute I walk outside. <laughs> I'm just straightening it. I mean, you're gonna this go outside look like cool. you're gonna go outside looking like this. I mean, the curls are the least you're wearing. Straighten her. I don't even think they sell it. Bespoke labs. Somewhere. Bespoken. It's the best. I doubt it's the best. Like I highly doubt it. I love it. I don't care. Coffee is brewing. So oh, I sound like again. Sound like farts. Favorite sound in the world. Coffee brewing is favorite sound in the world. Your hair was already straight, so what are you doing here? It was already this way. Okay, you're gonna burn your neck, hopefully. Again, why is she doing this? Her hair is literally straight already. And what about you don't do the back? How do you get the back? Well, how do you, what happens if you get your ear stuck in that thing? You should not even doing it fast. Like, what are you doing? Is it making a difference? Am I just blind? Uh -huh. Hi, we're ready for to take on the world. Like, boss queening. Like, let's slay together, okay? Yes, queen. Right. See? Ten minutes. <laughs> it's worse. And just like that, it is now five o'clock. prepped everything for this morning the night before so I have everything out for the pumpkin chocolate chip bread um I have everything out that I'm packing why not banana chocolate chip because it's superior I've said it once I'll say it again if you can make good banana bread you have my heart Oops, sorry then I'm packing in the kids lunches and then I start the next part of my morning routine as soon as I get my iced coffee I'll show you how I do my coffee Shut up down there! I'm trying to sleep! Okay. Alright. So you put hot coffee in there? Why don't you just go buy iced coffee? It's not that ex well, actually, that's a lot, it's expensive. But yeah. So you just put a hot coffee in there. She puts more cream than she puts coffee. You watch. You need milk. There's the caddy beer. Milk. Okay. Yeah, I know, darling. We don't know. You don't know anything. Watch this. Yeah. Oh, you. you think? You think? Gum. There wasn't even enough ice. Like the ice already gone. Because it was boiling coffee. Not enough ice. Stop! Okay. That is my first half hour of the day. And I'm going to get started on my morning routine, making breakfast and lunch for 10 kids. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the next video to see what I do next. No, don't do that. Wow, that was fun. Whole heap and load of fun. Alicia, chill. Learn makeup better or something. Get different products and things. Cool? All right, cool. Everybody, thanks for coming and having some fun with me on Friday. I appreciate Joe Az. And you're amazing, incredible, and valuable. Don't you forget it. Thank you for being here. Thanks for being amazing. Thanks for being incredible. Take care of your kids. Protect your kids. Love those around you. And go to Chick-fil-A and get yourself some nugs, all right? And I will see you when I see you. <laughs>